What's going on, guys? It's Saturday. Hope you've had a good day. You're here for another story, and I got one for you. This book is by Bernard Weber, or Wabber. I don't know how what sound the A makes in his last name, uh, but it's called Iris Sleeps Over. It's his first sleepover, so Ira's going to deal with some feelings, so let's find out what Ira's dealing with. Um, I think you guys are going to like this book, because it's on Mr. Eric Reads. I was invited to sleep at Reggie's house. Was I happy? I mean, I have never slept at a friend's house before. But I had a problem, and it began when my sister said, Are you taking your teddy bear along? Taking my teddy bear along, I said. To my friend's house? Are you kidding me? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Of course I'm not taking my teddy bear. And then she said, but you never slept without your teddy bear before. How will you sleep without your teddy bear for the first time? How will you feel? Hmm. I'll feel fine. I'll feel great. I would probably love sleeping without my teddy bear. Just don't worry about it, I said. Who's worried, she replied. But now she had me thinking about it. Now she really had me thinking about it. I began to wonder, suppose I won't like sleeping without my teddy bear. Suppose I just hate sleeping without my teddy bear. Should I take him? Take him, said my mother. Take him, said my father. But, but Reggie will laugh, I said. He'll, he'll say I'm a baby. He won't laugh, said my mother. He won't laugh, said my father. He'll laugh, said my sister. So I decided not to take my teddy bear. That afternoon, I played with Reggie. Reggie had plans, big plans. Tonight, he said, when you come to my house, we are gonna have fun, fun, fun. Uh, first, I'll show you my junk collection, and after that, we'll have a wrestling match, and after that, we'll have a pillow fight, and after that, we'll do magic tricks, and after that, we'll play checkers, and after that, we'll play dominoes, and after that, we'll fool around with my magnifying glass. Great, I said, I can hardly wait. By the way, I asked, what do you think of teddy bears? But Reggie just went on talking and planning as if he never heard about teddy bears. And after that, he said, Do you know what we can do after that? I mean, when the lights are out and the house is really dark, guess what we can do? Well, what? I asked. We can tell ghost stories. Ghost stories? I said. Ghost stories, said Reggie. Like scary, creepy, spooky ghost stories. I began to think about my teddy bear. Did your house get very dark? I asked. Uh-huh, said Reggie. Like very, very dark? Uh-huh said Reggie. By the way, I said again, what do you uh, think of teddy bears? Suddenly Reggie was in a big hurry to go someplace. I'll see you tonight, he said. See you, I said. I decided to take my teddy bear. Good, said my mother. Good, said my father. But my sister said, What if Reggie wants to know your teddy bear's name? What do you think about that? And did you think that he will laugh when you say Tata is a silly baby name for a teddy bear? 
He won't ask, I said. Oh, he'll ask, she said. So I decided not to take my teddy bear. At last, it was time to go to Reggie's house. Good night, said my mother. Good night, said my father. Sleep tight, said my sister. I went next door where Reggie lived. That night, Reggie showed me his junk collection. He showed me his flashlight, his collection of bottle caps, his chain that he made of chewing gum wrappers, some picture postcards, an egg timer, jumbo goggles, a false nose, a mustache, and a bunch of old rubber stamps and labels from his father's office. We decided to play office with the rubber stamps. After that, we had a wrestling match. And after that, we had a pillow fight. And after that, Reggie's father said, All right, guys, it's bedtime. Already, said Reggie. Already, said his father. We're going to, we got into the bed. Good night, said Reggie's father. Good night, we said. Reggie sighed. <sighs> then I sighed. <sighs> we can still sell ghost stories, said Reggie. Do you know any? I asked. Uh-huh. So Reggie began to tell a ghost story. Once there was a ghost and he lived in a haunted house. Only he did the most haunting himself. The house was so empty except for this ghost that nobody wanted to go near the house because they were afraid of the ghost, right? And then every night this ghost would walk around the house and make all kinds of like creaky clunky sounds like hum, hum, like that, right? And so we would go looking around the house to scare people because that's what he liked to do was scare people because he was scary to look at. Oh, was he scary to look at? Reggie stopped. Are you scared? He asked. Uh-huh, I said. Are you? What? Said Reggie. Are you scared? J -j Just a minute, said Reggie. I, I have to grab something. What do you have to get? I asked. Uh, something, said Reggie. Reggie pulled something out of the drawer. The room was dark, but I could see it had fuzzy arms and legs and was about the size of a teddy bear. I looked again, and it was a teddy bear. Reggie got back into bed. Now, about this ghost, he said. Is that your teddy bear, I asked. What? Said Reggie. Is that your teddy bear? You mean this teddy bear? Yeah, the one you're holding, I said. Uh-huh, Reggie answered. Do you sleep with him all the time, I asked. What? Reggie asked. Do you sleep with him all the time? Uh-huh, said Reggie. Does your teddy bear have a name? Does your teddy bear have a name? I said louder. Uh-huh. Reggie answered. Well, what is it? I asked. You won't laugh, will you? Said Reggie. No, I won't laugh. Promise? I promise. It's, it's Fufu. Did you say Fufu? Uh-huh, said Reggie. Just a minute, I said. I have to get something, too. What do, you, what do you have to get? Reggie asked. Oh, something. The next minute, I was ringing my own doorbell. The door opened. Ira, everyone said. What are you doing here? I changed my mind, I answered. You what, said my mother. You what, said my father. You what, said my sister. She was still up. I changed my mind, I said. I decided to take Tata after all. So I went upstairs. Soon I was down again with Tata. And my sister said, What? 
Reggie will laugh. You will see how he'll laugh. He's just going to fall down laughing. He won't laugh, dear, said my mother. No, he won't laugh, said my father. He won't laugh, I said. I came back into Reggie's room. I have a teddy bear too, I said. Do you want to know his name? I waited for Reggie to say uh-huh, but Reggie didn't say uh-huh. Reggie didn't say anything. I looked at Reggie, and he was fast asleep. Just like that, he had fallen asleep. Reggie, wake up, I said. You have to finish telling your ghost story. But Reggie just held his teddy bear closer and went right on sleeping. And after that, well, there wasn't anything to do. So I whispered, good night to Tata, and I fell asleep too. The end. Iris sleeps over, Bernard Weber, Weber, here on Mr. Eric Reads. Hope you guys enjoyed that story. As you can tell, as you get to know people, if you talk to them, you ask them questions, you probably will find out we have a lot more in common than we do uh, indifference. So, as always, guys, wash your hands, stay safe, and please take time to be kind today to everyone you come in contact with. Respect everybody, and let's just continue on trying to be a more unified people. Shall we do that? Take care of yourself, guys. I miss y'all. I'll see you around.